I know you're in store for some fabulous updates from the corporate board. I hope that you have a fabulous Friday and weekend, and I look forward to connecting with all of you very soon. We all hate that Christine is unable to be with us and Samantha also will not be with us. She is under the weather. So uh, we are going to get started as soon as Margie's been having a little bit of technical issues, but she is now back with us. So when Margie, when you are able to jump on, please go ahead and do our monthly inspiration. Just one minute. Now I'm together. <laughs> this is a story called The Mouse Trap. A mouse looked through the crack in the wall to see the farmer and his wife opening a package. What food might this contain? The mouse wondered. He was devastated to discover it was a mouse trap. Retreating to the farmyard, the mouse proclaimed the warning. There is a mouse trap in the house. There is a mouse trap in the house. The chicken clucked and scratched, raised her head and said, Mr. Mouse, I can tell this is a grave concern to you, but it is of no consequence to me. I cannot be bothered by it. The mouse turned to the pig and told him, there is a mouse trap in the house. There's a mouse trap in the house. And the pig sympathized and said, I am so very sorry, Mr. Mouse, but there is nothing I can do about it but pray. Be assured you are in my thoughts and prayers. And the mouse turned to the cow and said, there's a mouse trap in the house. And the cow said, wow, Mr. Mouse, I'm so sorry for you but it's no skin off my nose. So the mouse returned to the house with his head down and dejected to face the farmer's mouse trap alone. That very night, a sound was heard throughout the house, like the sound of a mouse trap catching its prey. The farmer's wife rushed to see what was caught. In the darkness, she did not see it was a venomous snake whose tail the trap had caught. The snake bit the farmer's wife. The farmer rushed her to the emergency room. They treated her and she returned home with a fever. Now, Everyone knows you treat a fever with fresh chicken soup. So the farmer took his hatchet to the farmyard for the soup's main ingredient. His wife's sickness continued. So friends and neighbors came to sit with her. They were there around the clock. To feed them, the farmer butchered the pig. The farmer's wife did not get well and she died. So many people came for her funeral. The farmer had the cow slaughtered to provide enough meat for all of them. And the mouse looked, on it, looked upon it all from his crack in the wall with great sadness. So the next time you hear, someone is facing a problem and think that it doesn't concern you. Remember, when one of us is threatened, 
we are all at risk. We are all involved in this journey called life. We must keep an eye out for one another and make an extra effort to encourage one another. Remember, each of us is a vital thread in another person's tapestry. <clears throat> Charlie? You, Margie. I, I nice. love that one. <laughs> yeah. Next on our agenda is I'm going to do the mission statements. And our EWI vision statement is to enhance professional growth and development within a diverse group of women while empowering them to make a difference mm -hmm. as they inspire others. <clears throat> From there, Director Vicki Chapman, would you I like... Sorry, Charlie, didn't mean Go to right cut ahead. you off. Hi, everybody. It's good to see you all. Um, we'd like to welcome our newest members. So from our last call, which was on January 13th, I believe, until yesterday, we have um, quite a few new members. So we'd like to welcome, first of all, from the Ronald McDonald House in Chattanooga, Tiffany Commons with EWI of Chattanooga, Eclipse Creative, um, Chris Hotelaki from EWI of Columbus, Omaha Primary Eye Care, Marsha Kubica from EWI of Omaha, Q Home Loans, Mandy Carstensen from EWI of Spokane. And then we have a few members from EWI of Tucson and they three individual members, Ginger Gamble, Haley Urban, and Mandy Irby. Um, then from EW, another EWI of Tucson, In Her Hands Home Services, LLC, Stephanie Liberci, um, I, uh, I3 Media Solutions, Stephanie Trevino, also from EWI of Tucson. Then Momentum 3, LLC, Wendy Buxton from EWI of Tulsa, Health Core Clinic, Silpa Hebser, EWI of Wichita. Sedwick County Zoo, Sarah Jantz, who is a replacement rep um, for EWI of Wichita. Then First Foundation Bank, Emory Hun, Emory Hun, sorry, um, who is a replacement rep, and she's from EWI of Honolulu. Beacon Hill Catering and Events, Shelby Miller, who is a replacement rep, and she's with EWI of Spokane. Uh, Project One Cause, Anne Marie Miller from EWI of Pomona Valley and Virginia Credit Union, Andy Weisbart from EWI of Richmond. So please help me welcome all of these new members and I apologize if I butchered anyone's names, um, but I hope I got them all right. Welcome ladies. It is so wonderful to see so many new members coming to our organization. Everyone is doing an excellent job. Samantha is under the weather today and asked me to fill in for her. So I get the privilege of saying happy anniversary to a couple of our EWI chapters. EWI of Columbus is celebrating 53 years. They chartered on February 9th, 1970. And EWI of San Antonio is celebrating 65 years. They chartered on February 24th, 1958. Samantha included just a couple of uh, trivia questions for you. And her, well, really it's one yes, question. She says, what was the most popular food in these years? Oh. Any clues? Well, I don't give clues, so I'd have to give answers, but <laughs> in 1971, she says that it was Eggs Benedict. In oh. 1950, it was Beef Stroganoff. Pineapple Upside Down Cake got 1961. And then the pasta salad was in 1982. And the famous hummingbird cake was in 1979. 
Wow. So those were our most popular foods back in the years between 1958 and 1970. The next slide is for Samantha also, and that's our dates and deadlines for Febu uh, February. She would like to remind everyone to be sure to send your chapter board and business meeting minutes to her. And she's included, of course, her email address. Be sure to remember that all of the names and addresses of your three chapter judges for EWISP and ASSIST should, uh, are due to the corporate office by March the 3rd. And then to upload your chapter connect newsletters to my EWI. Two of them must be uploaded to qualify for the annual communications award, which is given at LCAM. From there, oh, wonderful. From there, it's me again. Sorry, guys, I didn't realize I was quite talking quite that much, but I get to tell you a little bit about the awards committee and what we've been doing. So we are, the uh, awards committee is excited to announce that we are gonna have two new awards to be presented at LCAM 2023 in Chattanooga. The first one is a chapter website award. This, uh, what I've got here is just the criteria real quick to show you how easy it is to do. And you would uh, link to the chapter, when we link to the chapter website, well, I can't even read that right. Provided along with document describing the updates, changes and other features which enhance the website. This is what you'll have to uh, do on the nomination form that you will be sending in. The website must be within the uh, corporate branding guidelines. Nomination letter from the president or vice president, president elect of the chapter, and the letter should include ways in which the website chair and or communication director enhance the chapter website. And the communication is truly outstanding and benefits the total EWI network. And I believe the deadline to turn these in will be about the same as the LJP, if I remember correctly, which would be July the 7th. In addition to that, we have another one that is called the Annual Values and Actions Award. I believe in the Connect they mentioned something about um, monthly annuals, I mean, values in action recognition. This is totally different from that. On For the value, annual values in action award, each chapter is encouraged to recognize chapter members who exemplify all the EWI four values throughout the year. The chapter members must be nominated on the annual Values in Action Award nomination form. They may refer to their monthly chapter nominees for the Value in Actions recognition to assist in the selection process, but that's not a requirement. You do not have to use the, whoever you nominate it for the monthly. You get to pick whoever in your chapter you'd like to. And then each chapter is encouraged to participate in the nomination process for the annual Values in Action Award. And it's gonna be presented at LCAM by the Corporate Awards Committee. And all of the awards nomination forms are now located on the EWI website in the resource library under awards and criteria. That includes the chapter of excellence, the LJP Awards, the Communication Awards, the new website award, and the annual Values in Action of Rewards. I'm hoping that each of you are already working on all these awards and making sure you're meeting all the criteria. I would love for the committee to be able to stand up there at LCAM and give away a lot of awards this year from everyone who's going to be sending these things in. 
Now I'd like to turn it over to Director Margie Samoa for the Development Committee. We grow leaders. Our March to Membership program is well underway. Promotional boxes shipped yesterday to our participating chapters. If you have not signed up for the March to Membership program, please register by February 28th. This will be the final date that we will accept orders for the promotional box. You can still participate but you will not have the benefit of the promotional box. And for the exciting news, I am so excited. Uh, your corporate board wanted to offer an incentive for your prospective members to join. So they came up with a great one. Any new member representative or individual member who joins through your March to Membership program will receive a $100 discount on LCAM 2023 in Chattanooga. This discount is valid through June 30th and will not be extended for any reason. What this means is your new members can experience all that LCAM has to offer for a registration fee of $600. What a great way to experience and learn about EWI. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I will do my best to help. Additional information, Amazon Smile has announced that they will discontinue their program effective February 23rd of this year. After 10 years of offering the program, it has not gained the traction needed to meet Amazon's goals for their contribution. Accordingly, Amazon will explore other ways to support the nonprofit world. This is a great time to consider raise rights as an option for passive income for your chapter. While Amazon mile dollars were directed to the corporate BCDE program, Raise right funds go directly to the chapter and can be used for operating or BCDP. So if you need information on how to register your program or on the program itself, please feel free to contact me and I will provide you what you need. Can we move to the next slide, Charlie? The development committee continues to work to keep the toolkits and resource library current and up to date. We are currently working on a new bylaws and standing rules toolkit. We would like to share copies of standing rules for the various chapters. So if you would, please send a copy of your chapter's standing rules to me. And my email is here. Also, if you have other toolkits that would be helpful, um, ideas for other toolkits that would be helpful, please share them with any member of the development committee. And likewise, if you see something that needs to be included in a toolkit or in the resource library, please let us know. And this really means if you're looking for something and you can't find it, let us know so we can make sure that we get it 
uploaded and included where you can find it. And that's all I have from development. So back to Charlie. Okay, I'll pass it on back to Director Vicki Chapman and let her give us our member experience committee update. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'm, I'm happy to announce that our next professional development webinar will be on Thursday, March 23rd at 12 p.m. Central Time. Um, we will be hearing from Laurie James. She is a master career director, and she's going to be um, talking to us about gaining confidence by networking in any situation and also how to use our soft skills for harmony in the workplace. So I hope that appeals to everybody. And um, Laurie and I grew up in the same hometown. We went to the same um, college and I've watched her grow as a professional over the last 20 or 25 years. So she is great. She's got a lot of enthusiasm and I think you are all gonna really love listening to her and learning from her. So I hope you will put this date on your calendar and we'll be sending out the registration link and more information um, shortly. And she's also gonna give away a prize to one of the attendees at the event. So I hope everyone will be able to participate. Thank you, Charlie. Director Holly Stevenson, you're up and let's talk about BCDP committee, please. Thank you, Charlie. Good morning, everyone. Um, as you can see, this uh, the totals that are provided here were as of yesterday that we have 196 assist applications in progress with 17 submitted. Um, looking though this morning, I see that we have 205 uh, applications in progress and 21 applications actually submitted. So gaining some traction there. And um, uh, let me move my little screen here of 97 eWisp applications in progress with two submitted. But as of this morning, we've got 99 apps in progress with two submitted. So I encourage your um, assistant eWisp chairs to reach out to the applicants that are in progress and see if there's anything maybe that they can do to, to help move those along. Um, we've, we've got some great momentum going, so I'd love to keep that uh, momentum up. Uh, next up, your chapter judge names and email addresses are due to corporate by Friday, uh, March 3rd. Feel free to either send those to, to me or to your committee contact. Um, and by your committee contact, that would be the one that's been sending you uh, uh, committee updates. So any, any of us four will be happy to take those from you and we'll make sure to get those into Kaleidoscope. Um, and that's about it for BCDP. Like I say, I'm, I'm really excited that we're getting a lot of these applications in. And um, I, I feel that Kaleidoscope's fairly, fairly easy to maneuver. So uh, if you have any questions on it, feel free to reach out and I'm happy to help. Okay. Have a great day. Thanks, Holly. And Advisor Christine Healy, would you like to bring us up to date on the Bylaws and Corporate Service Board, please? I will, Charlie. Thank you. Hi, ladies. Wanted to let you know today that your proposed bylaw amendments are coming due April 20th, 2023. And if you see something at the chapter level, please say something. This bylaw amendment form can be found on ewiconnect.com slash page slash resource library. You can find it there, ladies. Please download it and get it signed by your chapter secretary and your chapter president before it is submitted. Your chapter must vote to approve those suggested bylaws. And again, that deadline is April 20th, 2023. Just a shout out to my committee who's serving this year on the bylaws. Jennifer Burns, Mary Kay Cosmetics, CWI of Phoenix. Lindy Champion Ivy, Mint Museum of Art, EWI of Charlotte, Kimberly Craft, Sandia Laboratory Federal Credit Union, EWI of Albuquerque, Lisa Stokes, BRP Entertainment, EWI of Harrisburg, and Megan Tichy, Summit Residential Services, LLC, EWI of Tucson. Appreciate them this year for serving on this really important committee for bylaws. 
Next, let's talk about corporate board service. And I wanna thank all of you and those in your chapter who have joined committees this year. Your involvement is stellar. We appreciate each and every one of you. And I want you to go out now to those past chapter presidents who are serving in your chapters and let them know that corporate board service is open to them this year. All they have to do is go on the site, be part of a team to make a difference, fill out that application found on ewiconnect.com page resource library. That deadline is May 6th. I also want you to know what you can do at the corporate board level. You can help with scholarships like Holly Stevenson is doing and Reading Rally as well. Development like Margie Zamora is doing with chapter growth and fundraising. Membership and tracking, keeping track of all of you is what Vicki Chapman is doing this year and leading that membership experience. Awards like Charlie Rosenquist is doing this year. Bylaws like I am doing this year and marketing communications like Kathy Scott is doing. And then when you're almost through with your service, like I am, you'll get to be a big part of a nominating committee and you'll be the advisor. Now, I wanted to share with you who was serving on the nominating committee this year, <clears throat> myself and Charlie Rosenquist with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee Incorporated, EWI of Chattanooga, Jennifer Burns, she's doing double duty this year, serving on a couple of committees with Mary Kay Cosmetics, CWI of Phoenix, Michelle Rundstrom, Altria Client Services, LLC, EWI of Richmond, and Lori Heerlin, TD Williamson, EWI of Tulsa. I wanted to let you know that we're listening to you. We always listen to you. Now I wanna tell you too, that we cannot have more than one person from one chapter serving at the same time on the corporate board. So keep that in mind. And I wanted to share with you a testimonial that I received from a past corporate president. This is from Darlene Benogan, who served as 2014, 2015 corporate president. And she was selected as outstanding representative of the year in 2018 for Lucille Johnson Perkins. She is from EWI of San Diego. She represents North Island Credit Union. And I'd like to share her testimonial with you. I'll be sharing those up until that final deadline and maybe after just to let you know. She applied for the corporate board service because she wanted to know more about EWI and its workings, improve her leadership skills and continue serving an organization that she had a passion for on the corporate level. She felt strengthened at both herself and her chapter, and it most definitely did. She served on the corporate board on and off for 10 years. Service on the board helps you both professionally and personally in your career and strengthens your self-esteem. She came away from the board service knowing she had made a difference in this organization, and she had become a better leader than when she started her service. I invite you ladies to illuminate the way, like our corporate president said at Leadership Caucus, through your leadership. Now the deadline is May 6th, 2023. So please share that with everyone who qualifies in your chapter and any of your friends as well. I thank you today for your time. With that, I'll send it back to Charlie. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, next. We have a guest with us today, and that is our LCAM chair, Jennifer Clark. Jennifer, would you like to take over for a few minutes, please? Sure. Hello. How is everybody? I hope you all are doing good on this Friday. We just wanted to share that we have two presenting sponsors this year, which is amazing, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee and Tennessee Valley Authority, and that you will be seeing more emails come out for sponsorships from the chapter. So just keep an eye out for those emails. We have a link provided in this slide as well. And if you'll go to the next one, Charlie. And then mark the calendar, make sure the Chattanooga Hotel is now has the block set up. So you guys can email the coordinator to go ahead and reserve your rooms if you'd like to. And I have also been given permission to give you all a little peek into our theme which part of it will be speak easy. 
we'll have a speakeasy theme. So we are doing a lot of planning behind the scenes. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of professional development. So we're super excited about it. Hopefully you're getting your chapters excited about coming. We're expecting a lot of people to come out this year. So make sure that you set aside your dates and get your reservations in. Thank you, Charlie. Back to you. Thank you, Jennifer. It's time now for our Q&A. And I'm going to speak one more time real quick because I was asked to share the Southeastern Forum has been scheduled. It's official. So April 14th through the 16th, EWIF Birmingham is hosting it this year. And so save your dates. If you need more information, uh, you can contact Corey Talley or contact me because I'll be happy to fill in what I can and what I can. I'll make sure to get your uh, questions to Corey uh, because I don't have her email up here. Of course, we, we can always find all of our email addresses on the YM website, on the EWI corporate website. But if you just need to find out something quick, feel free to email me too. And so I also was asked to, I believe, uh, Lindsay, were you going to share something with us today? I am. Um... Sorry, I've I'll got to figure video. out how to make share my well, screen. Um, <laughs> I have to give you permission. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go ahead. While you're getting that ready to share the screen, I was going to say a couple of things about what Lindsay is going to share. Um, we're trying a few new things with the Connect, and we'd love to get your feedback after you've had a chance to navigate around in it. We did send out a February Connect. Not sure how many of you had a chance to look at it yet. Uh, we're very excited about it, um, but there are two forms of communications. There's the communications that go out to the board members, and, and also Margie and her committee created a leadership bulletin that helps keep the board members on track. Um, and then there's the Connect, which is directed towards you and the entire membership. So we'll have things on there like current events. You can learn about what's going on. Um, it can be as brief as you want, or it can be, there can be, there'll be links on there to where you can dig down deeper if you would like to, uh, but that way it'll make it a little bit cleaner and easier to read and focus on the things that you want to focus on. But our main thing is we want to start focusing on your chapters and what's going on. What are you doing? We want to see your events. We're going to be spotlighting several chapters. We'll put as many in there as we can for each uh, connect that we send out. But we would love for you to share this information with us. So if you could send that to Lindsay Christensen, she is with EWI of Omaha and she's the co-chair of the connect. And you'll find her email. It is in the February Connect, but we'll keep it in there too for future. Um, but just you, you can send us something right out of your own Connect. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, we want to keep it easy for you. If we don't get any information for you, and we, we're going to have to go digging for information and reading everyone's Connects on my AWI. But um, I think we'll end up getting a good response from that. You know, you all do such wonderful things out there. And we all love learning and uh, being able to not reinvent the wheel ourselves, but be able to see what's going on and be able to connect with your chapters when we see your events that you're doing. Um, but you okay, will I got to... her up just so you know. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, you're just going to have to uh, go into each connect to see if you are a spotlighted chapter. But uh, go ahead, Lindsay. All right, thank you, Kathy. So um, I'll get right to it, you guys. Where uh, you'll see the corporate connect as you receive it in your email, um, rather than having the entire article um, within built within your mail, you'll just get to skim to whatever content you are interested in. Uh, click read more or one of the buttons, they'll all say something different and it will take you to that post. Um, so this is actually within EWI Connect um, on the back end. So everybody has access to create a blog or a page. 
Um, so that is the functionality that we have used for the Connect this year. Um, here you can see the post for the chapter spotlight of San Diego. Um, here you'll see that it's a lot more interactive um, than what we've had previously. Here you can uh, rate your the content. You can do three to five um, hearts, and then you can click like, dislike. It, it's not going to let me do it just because it's my post. But um, and then there's also the functionality of adding comments, um, which is really great. So um, say you don't wanna go back to your email and click on every single one. Um, we will go up to view all nine posts or you could go to blog home. It'll take you to the same place. And here you can just scroll through and read all of the content, see all of the content um, as well. Hello, Miss Healy. <laughs> um, and you'll also, so the great thing about this, we can add multiple um, items to each article. So here we have um, attached files. Here we have merged uh, membership uh, photo, and we have an attached file for the membership flyer. Um, you can still access all of that. Um, you can still connect with all of these items um, by being able to rate them or commenting, which will actually take you into the post. But um, let's see. So say you've read all of this um, and there are previous ones that you haven't been able to read yet. So we're going to go all the way up to the top here. And you'll be able to click all blogs and we, it is not created yet, but um, you will be able to uh, click on that February connect or whichever connect that you are looking for. And um, you'll be able to access that fairly easily. And I think that's about all I have. Does anybody have any questions? Lindsay? Fantastic. Lindsay, this is Christine Healy. Do members have to have something set up in their preferences in order to see this blog or is that not going to be an issue for us? Um, the only restriction that I'm aware of is that they will need to be logged in. Just logged in. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, it's just fan it's a fantastic. I, I I love it. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. That's amazing. It's a great new world out and we keep learning more and more things. So that's great. Uh, still showing up. As, oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't, that was another message for Lindsay. We got her running. I'm trying to keep up with chats too. So have we got other people who would like to ask some other questions or anything you would like to talk about? We have a good little bit of time here. You know, I'd, I'd like to mention that if people would, um, if your chapter would set up your blogs, so like if you will go in, you can do your individual blogs and we're going to put something out there in the February Connect showing you how to do that if you do need help with that. But that way, if, if it's your event on there and you're able to comment on, you know, people might be sending in comments on that event, it would be going straight to you and you are the one that's getting those um, five hearts. <laughs> so it, it is new technology, but you know, it reminds me a lot of uh, getting on like Facebook or anything else. And, and just like those links, there was um, Christine Healy had in there, the, there's the application um, for the bylaws and to submit something. So if you're interested in that, okay, you can click on that and get it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So just trying to make it more user-friendly. And whenever we go on to something we haven't been on to and, and sometimes trying to take that time to be able to figure out what you're looking at. So I think Lindsay was able to show that it's just a quick couple of clicks here or there and, and you're you're in it. But I know I, I think I had to sign into my WI when I 
use my login when I was on my phone because I hadn't I wasn't logged in, but my computer it, it recognizes it and it takes me straight in without happening to log in. So I have a question. This is Laura from Milwaukee, and it has to do with uh, the individual chapter newsletters. So our newsletter is dynamic. It's created out of constant contact. And so it, it's not a static PDF. I don't know how to quote unquote upload that. So do I just, do I take a screen capture of it? Like how do I, how do I upload a, a you know, a, dy a dynamic newsletter so that it qualifies? Um, Lindsay, do you know that answer? Or do we need to look that up? I have never worked with Constant Contact um, personally, um, but I have, I do know people who have. So I can ask, uh, I can reach out to them and ask that question. That would be great, thank you. Yeah. What chapter were you from, I'm sorry? Milwaukee. Okay. That way we can get back with you. Thank you. Um, Holly Stevenson here. I just wanted to bring attention. Jennifer, I don't know if you see the chat, the um, comment from Chris Hilly. It would be great to have a session at LCAM on this type of communication. Maybe um, we could, you know, wrap that into like Canva or, you know, like like how we did with Canva last year, maybe something on, on uh, this setup. That would be awesome. Awesome. I'll take a new. I will tell you just to help out with that, with that statement. Uh, Jennifer did send out, or maybe we put it in the thing anyway, it has been sent out that breakout speakers need to put in, if you are interested in doing a session, that there is a application process like we did last year, we're doing it again this year, so it would need to be completed and sent in, and uh, we go from there. And, Jennifer, do you remember what that deadline date was? No, that you would ask me that off the top of your head. No, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I apologize because I know no, I like that fine. either, but it didn't. I cannot I even remember, but it's soon. I know. I think yeah. March 12th is in my head, but that's probably not the right. Yeah, day. beginning of March is in my head too. So we've already gotten, a, I think, a couple of of applications. But yeah, I, I'll write that down as something of interest. So we've got somebody that that applies to do that. That's of great interest. No February. pressure, Kathy or Lindsay. February 28th. <laughs> February 28th. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Christine Healy. Thank You're you. You're welcome. I wasn't expecting that question, so I wasn't prepared for it either. <laughs> so that's great. Um, and Laura, uh, Laura I, do, I am going to send you a separate email because I would like to um, talk to you about the constant only because from the awards committee standpoint to make sure that y'all are able, you know, that you put in a nomination uh, form for it also for the communications. So I am okay. interested just to make sure of what it is and that who, our awards committee is able to get to you to look at it. If, if, okay. if one's sent in, so I will send you a separate email. Perfect, thank you. Is there, actually, uh, oh, go ahead. I, I said I was. Uh, um, I had another question. Um, so, in regards to just my EWI in general, um, a lot of our members, particularly those that are not uh, more technically inclined, don't know how to use my EWI. They don't. They, you know, we don't know how to post. We don't know how to look things up. We don't know where things are. We don't know the difference between you know, our individual page versus our chapter page. And so my question is, is there or can there be a video tutorial on how to use my EWI? There is one, Laura, there is one, and it was given February 8th, and it can still be found online. I'd be happy to send it to you if you'd like me to. I used Perfect. it. I used Hi. it just last month with my chapter and it really helped them. It's 
I will send you the link, Laura, is that? Yes, thank you, right. sorry. You're welcome. <laughs> Perfect. Do we have any other questions about anything that you might wanna know? We are here for you. Well, here and none, we want to be very con uh, conscientious of your time. We appreciate each of you and for you jumping on the call with us. Know that your corporate board is here to serve you and assist you however you we might be able to. Feel free to contact any of us and if it's something we personally can handle, we will get real back to you real quick. If it's something that we're not sure of, we'll find the answer and still get back to you real quick. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we are here for you. We're hoping to see you in person soon in Chattanooga. I pushed it a little harder. It's my city. Come on down and see us. We're we're friendly down here. But no, uh, come, come, plan to come to LCAM. It's going to be amazing. Jennifer and her committee are doing an outstanding job. I can't wait to see what she comes up with with all of this. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. And I look forward to seeing y'all. Bye, guys. <laughs>